that this is a system that's kind of well built for tackles in that specifically run the ball a lot. What, what have you thought about the fit for, for you and Taylor? Yeah, I think it's been great. I think it's been great. Uh, you know, I think we're really playing to our strengths, which I'm excited for. Uh, and definitely excited to run the ball this year. You know, that's, you know, one of, one of my biggest strengths, obviously. So excited to showcase that every chance I get. Does that in turn help the, the pass blocking when you kind of get a defense on their heels? Yeah, I think it sets, uh, it sets up the defense a little bit. You know, anytime you can run the ball, kind of have free range when it comes to that uh, call sheet. So I think that definitely establishing the run early is going to help us a lot this season. Icky, last was rough for many reasons, particularly I know that you had your own personal struggles. What are some of the things you've done in the off season to kind of uh, strengthen those weaknesses or self-assess with weaknesses, whether it was mentally or physically? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I've been meeting with my coaching staff a little bit more closely. Uh, I feel like last year I didn't really take advantage of the resources that I had available to me. You know, I feel like I kind of just, kind of just, I guess, riding the coattails of that rookie season a little bit. You know, I feel like I was at a place where I, I, I just wasn't. So, you know, I wasn't afraid this year to reach out, ask for some help, um, go over film with the guys, you know, some of the new guys we have in the building. And I think it's definitely helped me out. Was that a lesson you needed to learn? So to speak, that you couldn't just ride off what you did your first year? 100%, 100%. You know, um, I don't want to speak on last year too much, if I'm being honest, but obviously a very humbling experience. Um, so kind of just take that knowledge I got, take that experience and just grow from it. And um, one of the biggest ways I feel I could do that was asking around and asking for help when I need it and using my resources. If you have been your impressions of Dave and have there been any conversations that kind of stand out for you in your career so far? Yeah, he's been great. He's been great. Um, you know, high energy guy, some, something that we all kind of just respond to, we all kind of love. Um, and yeah, we really just appreciate, you know, what he's been doing for us, you know, building this team and everything like that. And, you know, he's been very clear on the messages that he has for us. And um, I just feel like we're going in the right direction. So definitely excited to have him, you know, in my corner. What was that conversation like when, when he told you how much you wanted to run the ball and, and how that would play into your strengths? Yeah, I mean, it felt good, you know, just showing, you know, just the confidence that he had in me, um, telling me that early. Um, it just kind of just set up the option for me, really just, um, you know, just telling me things I got to focus on and making sure I can be the best player I can be. So definitely appreciate that conversation. Did, did, does it feel like, I don't want to say, a, new life, you know, a, a new fresh start? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I could say that, you know, a fresh start, um, reset, obviously, you know. Making sure, you know, we just learn from the experience that, you know, we had last year and just grow from it. And, you know, that's really our main focus. The offensive line and fortifying it was obviously a off-season priority. Robert Hunt, Damian Lewis, how are things going? How is that chemistry growing along the line? Yeah, it's been great. They've been growing a lot. Uh, we've been growing together just chemistry-wise. I feel like we're really just, you know, bonding. And uh, that's something you really just need as an offensive line, you know, just making sure we're all together, all glued together. Um, those guys came into the room and immediately, you know, we all loved them. We all fit in. So. Definitely excited to keep growing that relationship and excited, you know, definitely excited to have those guys w uh, with me on the offensive line. Uh, speaking directly about Damian Lewis, he is the first time we met him. He has a thick New Orleans accent. He seems to have so much joy. Uh, what have you learned about him, maybe as a football player, but also as a person off the field? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a little reserved at times, but, you know, it's, it was kind of fun getting him out of his shed a little bit. Um, yeah, he's just a great guy overall, you know, family man, obviously. Um, um, yeah, just a great guy. You know, just excited to have him right next to me, and uh, gonna, we're gonna keep working. So, how'd you get him out of the show? Sure, just just being around him. You know, being around the room. Only so often you can be reserved. You know, with some of the guys we have in the O line room. You know, we're gonna get get a laugh out of you one way or another. So, uh, kind of working like that, and you know, he fits right in. And um, it's been great seeing his personality shine a little bit. Talking more with the coaches, as you said, you're doing. Has that included film study of last year, or have you not even wanted to look much at last year's tape? Yeah, it did. It included some film study from last year, um, just showing up some inconsistencies on that tape. I'm not going to get too much into it. Don't want to get too much away. But uh, yeah, just really just that. You know, just looking at things I did good, things I did wrong, and really just making sure just working out the kinks. Was there were there a couple things that jumped out where you were like, oh yeah, or, or either that the coach pointed out or that you saw on your. Yeah, there was. Like I said, I'm not going to say too much, say too much. But, uh, yeah, there was a couple of things that, you know, looking back on it, when you look at the entire body of work that was last year, you know, it was things that came up time and time again that I didn't, I didn't fix as the season went on. So it's definitely a big priority for me. How many games would you say you all watched, or was it all kind of cut-ups? It was cut-ups, cut-ups, so a variety of different games. Is there a sense of relief knowing that, okay, I see what I did in that, and 
and understanding that it's fixable? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, I never really felt like any issues that you know we had last year. Uh, me personally, especially, but even as a team, were unfixable. You know, it was nev never anything that went back to character or anything like that. It was always something that we were always just felt like we were just one player away from fixing. And um, so we're going to continue to have that mindset. You know, everything's fixable. You know, just as long as we have the honesty together. You know, we have the rapport to be able to call it call it the guys on our team. I feel like we're going to go a long way. Icky, there was uh, some, you know, rumors, I don't know, just outside world, uh, that you might switch away from left tackle at some point last year when you were struggling some. Are you glad to have stayed at left tackle, kind of the preeminent position? 100%, 100%. Um, well, I always say, you know, I'm a team player. I've been saying this, shoot, it was just a combine, you know, it feels like a long time ago, but, and I always said I'm a team player, so I'm going to do, you know, what's necessary for the team to win, but I've always felt like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm naturally a left tackle. I always felt great at left tackle, and I feel like I can play left tackle at a high level. So I'm going to keep working at it. Nikki, your thoughts on the NFL PA proposal that would eliminate OTAs, but kind of uh, a longer ramp up to training camp? Yeah, uh, it's kind of hard for me, honestly, just kind of being how young I am in this process to kind of have like a, a direct opinion on that right now. Um, something I, you know, which we talked about, had discussion about, kind of asking some of the guys um, around, because obviously, a position I'm in, it's different from a position of a guy that, you know, is maybe undrafted free agent or a guy that, you know, needs some of the, um, some of those OTA times to kind of, you know, solidify themselves on the team. Um, so that's a conversation I've had just around, around the locker room, a bunch of different players, a bunch of different backgrounds. But I, I don't have an answer for you right now, but something I've definitely thought about. Not that you have vacation at the front of your mindset, but it would sort of alter everyone's normal time off in the summer. Yeah. Have y'all talked about that amongst yourselves? Yeah, we have. Uh, we have. Um, I mean, the thing just goes back to, I guess, treating us like grown men like we are. Um, that's kind of where the proposal, my understanding of where it came from, giving guys all the time that they need to recover, um, regardless when they finish the season, just as much time as they need to kind of build their own program. And, that kind of goes back to guys having to trust and you know the grown men are, that are in this league to kind of just program that for themselves. So, like I said, I'm still discussing things with uh, people, but I can see both sides of it. Thank you. You mentioned you were young. You also mentioned that the combine feels like a long time ago. It feels like these these have been a long few years for you. And I'm curious, kind of looking back with this, like you said, maybe maybe a reset. Just how how have you been able to face the criticism, face the adjustments? heading into year three based on what you've learned this past two years? Uh, so I guess really just having since, you know, great, great corner around me, great guys around me, um, great support staff around me. That includes my friends and my family as well. Um, obviously, it was a tough year last year, um, you know, struggled in a lot of aspects. And sometimes, you know, it's hard not to get down on yourself, but having some of those guys in your corner to always lift you up, you know, show you that, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't, that, that's not necessarily who you are. You know, you might make a mistake, you might play bad, but that doesn't mean you're a bad player. So kind of having some of those guys to kind of just keep that going in my head, it helps a lot. You had, uh, and maybe you always were like this, you had on long pants and you know, a, lot, a lot of layers on today. Is that, and a lot of linemen don't, is that just the way you you always do it? Or is that something uh, new? Or? Some I kind of started a little bit this off season, kind of just getting used to the heat more and more. Uh, get a nice little sweat going on a not really too much thought to it honestly it just kind of just wanted to try it out and I've been liking it so far it's not like for weight control or anything it's no, just sir. for the sweat. yeah really just sweat I feel like I got a good workout in and uh, you know when it starts getting hotter and hotter I feel like I'm gonna be ready for it Nikki this is a non-panther sort of question but there's a kid at your alma mater that's highly recruited number yeah, one big what do you know big about big Nate Sanders yeah. Do you know him at all? Yeah, I actually got to meet with him uh, going into his freshman year. So this is a couple of years ago now. Um, he was damn near the same size, which is kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of, it's been real cool seeing his development over the years. Um, you know, obviously they got a great program over there at Providence today. So definitely been fun to watch, you know, watch some guys ball out a little bit. And uh, now I got a chance to meet Big Day's family too, you know, come from a great background. Just, you, know, you can tell he loves ball. You know, he got a great support staff with him. So wish him the best. And, uh, I oh, no. hope, hope he goes to NC State. I don't know where, where we fall into his rankings right now, but I'm always pulling for him to go to NC State. But, you know, I'm sure whatever decision he makes is going to be best for him and his family. So big shout out to him. Nikki, Dave was saying earlier that it's important to go as full speed as you can right now, even without the pads on. It, it, how important is that? How much of a difference does that make as you get closer to the season? Yeah, I think it's important to get some of those full speed reps. Um, you know, obviously those are the reps that transition the most to the field. You know, on the field, you're not going to be going half speed. So. I think it's definitely an important, uh, important message that he's given to us to make sure to take advantage of all the reps we can.